want to run Wuthering Waves on 120 frames per second and play it easily on your low-end PC without any stutters and lag, you clicked on the right video. This is low-end gaming and in this video, I will show you how you can play Wuthering Waves on your low-end PC smoothly in just few simple steps. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. Let's start with the basics. Open your game and go to settings. Here set the graphics preset to ultra performance and copy my other settings as it is. After this step, this is how my game works, but we can do better. Let's move to the next step. But before moving further, I must warn you about the consequences. Now, we will do some config file changes. Go to Wuthering Waves game folder, client, saved, config, windows no editor and first open the game user settings file. Here under the scalability groups do as I do and copy me. After making the changes, save the file and make sure the file is set to read only. Now open the scalability file, copy the text from the description here and save the file. Make sure it is set to read only. Now open the engine file, copy the text from the description and paste it all here. Save the file and make sure to set it to read only. We are done with the config file stuff. Now just open the game and play it. I hope your game is now running with better and smoother. But you know what? We can make it more smoother. Go in the description below and download the DB SQLite and extract it. Open the application. Now go to Wuthering Waves game folder. Client. Saved. Local storage. And drop the local storage file in the software. In the application, click on Browse. Find custom frame rate and change it to 3 from 2. Click on Apply and write changes. Close the application and then open your game. Now, your game will run at a higher FPS than 60 and it will be way more smoother. Well, I have a more easier and safer way to do this. Download and install the Lossless Scaling app. Open your game and set it to Windowed mode. Open the Lossless Scaling app and set the mode to 2 times and click on scale and switch to the game window immediately. And congrats, your game will work on 120 frames per second. Both things do the same, but this one is way safer. Your choice which one to do. And guys, we are done. I hope this video helped you and your game is running smoothly. See you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.